Hi guys, this has been quite a year for me. I've been dealing a lot with allergy issues this, this year, which caused me to move from Montana to Iowa in search of some better health care. And I'm just so grateful that my parents were able to help me out. Um, I was living in their basement for about six months, so um, I really appreciated their help. And um, this is a little snippet of the of the video I I did during during my my move. Um, during my move, I didn't have much money at all, so I didn't want to rent a van. So I ended up just basically downsizing all of my possessions. Um, I had to really have a heart to heart with myself and decide what is the most essential things. Of course, cookware. Yes, I definitely wanted to bring all of my cookware. Um, <laughs> that was very essential to, to me. Um, if I'm going to start over, I, I want my, my cast iron pots and, and my, um, and my bread bowl. Those were really important for me. Um, other than that, um, everything else was kind of, kind of up in the air. Um, had to get rid of most, most of my furniture. I only saved a couple of really important furniture pieces and I crammed everything into my RAV4. And um, once I got settled into my new apartment, my folks helped me decorate. I'm not much of a decorator myself, so I was really happy that my stepmama had some ideas. Um, she gave me all of these frames and we picked out some pictures. Um, and I was just amazed how many frames she actually had in her house. So it was, she basically just gifted me most of these frames. And my dad put up the shelves. And we've got some family photos of our cabin in Bemidji. So a lot of, a lot of good, good memories that are now on my wall. So that helped me feel a little, a little more at home. And this was also a big year for my writing. I published three children's books this year, and I was really happy how all of them turned out. I did all the illustrations on Canva, which makes it so easy. Um, so those were a big, big pride for this year. And um, my big sewing project this year was I, I made a petticoat out of a bed sheet. And honestly, I, I wear this quite often in the winter time. It's so nice having a, an extra layer on, under a skirt. I love skirts, but um, in the winter time, it's really hard to, <laughs> to put on a skirt because it just feels so cold. I'm currently in Iowa and I've spent a lot of time in North Dakota and Montana, so I'm used to the cold. You know, but you just have to figure out how to how to layer it up properly. And I think it turned out really well. I just love I love I love the fabric and, and all those neat little flowers. <laughs> Starting in January, I am going to be putting out newsletters. This is something I've been thinking about for a while and I just wasn't sure what a newsletter would look like, but I feel like I'm, I'm finally at the part where um, I'm doing a lot of YouTube videos and I've got different projects going on um, and it would be nice just to kind of have a kind of a, a final kind of rundown of this is what I've been doing for the past month and um, hopefully you guys will um, sign up and have a look and see if it's of interest to you and I will be sure and put a link um, in the description so you guys can sign up but here is a preview of what what it's gonna look like for January I'm gonna have a, a frugal tip and a frugal recipe, um, a book announcement. I know my, my books aren't going to appeal to everybody, especially since they, they don't always focus completely on, on frugal living, but um, 
I thought, you know, it's good just to, just to have it out there to show you what, what, other, what other things that I'm working on. And I've also got a hand sewing project update. Um, I just completed um, a pair of pantaloons for a Holly Hobby costume. And I will be putting up a video in, in January. So that is one, one piece of the costume. There's a few pieces. So I think the, this big project will keep me going for most of the year. And I'm also having a recap of the last month's YouTube videos um, organized into budget meals and frugal news and sewing projects um, and this is the this is the video that you're watching right now um, I'm gonna have a link for the year in review 2022 and it'll display a picture as as soon as I make this video live and it'll have some some links to the YouTube channel my Instagram and also my frugal carry website so i'm really excited to make this first newsletter live in january um, and if you guys want to sign up i will be sending everybody out an email early in january and um, i'm really excited so that is um, my kind of year in review and what's coming up in 2023 and I just want to say thank you everybody for watching and for your support your positive comments and feedback they've really meant a lot to me this year and they've definitely helped my channel keep going so thank you everybody and I hope you have a great year